today's video, I'm going to be showing how I organize my nail art tool collection. I organize my nail tools in this makeup brush holder and I will link something similar in the description box below as well as I will do my best to link all of the tools shown here in the description box below as well. So in the front here, I keep all of my dotting tools huddled together in one area. I have my uh, bigger dotting tools and my smaller dotting tools that are my favorite. I have my two crystal katanas here that I use to pick up nail crystals, nail gems, things like that. And I also have an ombre brush, which I got recently and I am absolutely loving. I keep the lid on everything to keep everything nice and protected. I have multiple pairs of pointy tweezers because every time I get new uh, nail crystals off Amazon, they always come with a set of pointy tweezers, which are absolutely lovely, but they are sharp. My two favorite cleanup brushes, and then I have small scissors, more cleanup brushes, which I don't use that much. And then I have my small, beautiful collection of capped nail art brushes. I actually got these recently off Amazon and I love them. The reason why I've been wanting to switch my brushes over is because after trying out one brush that had a lid, I loved that because I felt like the brushes stayed protected and I didn't have to worry about them getting dinged up or bent anyway. And I personally prefer that now. So I'm trying my hardest to go through and find brushes that I really like and I'm always wanting to share the new nail art stuff that I find that works really well for anyone out there who is looking for that type of stuff. I also have these sets of marble brushes which I got last year I believe. I love them as so much too but I'm trying to go more toward the cap brushes. This little section right here, pink brushes, I don't love. I just have them for the fan brushes and these little flat brushes for uh, painting with acrylic paint if I need it. I also have this bent brush here which I've seen people use for nail foil but I don't understand the purpose of this and if someone could explain that to me that would be great. This brush is very confusing though. Um, but I don't love these nail art brushes because they feel very flimsy and not high quality. Almost like you could snap them very quickly in your hand like a pencil. I would not recommend those but I tried them. And then I got these new ones a few weeks ago. One end is the brush and one end is a dotting tool. I love that style too, but I have been wanting to go more toward the capped style of brushes, which are my personal favorites at the moment. But I'm always looking for really good detail brushes and things that make doing tiny detail work way easier. And that is it for my nail tool collection and how I organize everything and a small overview. And that's it. 